welcome to Red Coat's Return. I do hope you like my new introduction uh, piece and music. I'm getting slowly better at this. I'm also using a additional microphone, so I hope the sound will be better than it has in past videos. Anyway, today, as promised previously, I'd like to show you a few of my German pipes. Um, I have a total of nine and three are in another location so I'm showing you the selection here but again it's representative of the whole. Um, so everybody knows uh, Vauen as the biggest house let's say of uh, pipe makers, um, factory pipe makers in uh, Germany and they're quite a, a legendary company uh, and what I like about big factory producers and we say big these are still middle-sized companies but family-owned companies just like they are in Italy um, they do have very nice processes and quality control and they've got very good at it over uh, so in some cases, uh, almost a hundred years or so of producing pipes. Um, Farron is even older, I think, than that. And they make absolutely wonderful pipes. And uh, some of my first pipes uh, that I bought were Farron. And we take this nice example here. And this was uh, one of their less expensive ones, so, so uh, called classic or, or basic line. It doesn't have the white dot on top. Uh, I do have one Vowen with a white dot, which is in the other location, which um, uh, guarantees a higher finish and quality. But I found this one to be beautifully finished. And uh, really, there's nothing absolutely that I can say is wrong at all about it. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, at that time, I was... Uh, fully convinced I was a full bent person because uh, it sits nicely in the hand when you're smoking and uh, it's very comfortable. I think this was about around 80 francs so it wasn't wasn't very expensive, a sort of moderate middle cost for a, a pipe. Um, beautiful finishing on it, lovely stain and good quality briar and nicely drilled. I mean Vowen is uh, you know, you can bet your life on them. It's very rare that you'll ever have a problem. You know, that happens to all pipe makers, big or small, occasionally or rarely. Um, but the, the quality control is, is very good. And if you want a quality German uh, pipe, uh, that's one of the first places to, to look from the big producers. And I smoke this quite, quite often and uh, smokes absolutely beautifully with my aromatics and um, you know I'm, I'm very very happy from, from day one with that one as in fact I've been lucky with all my pipes really to have mostly that experience so that's a, a lovely a lovely Vaughan model um, another example of a Vaughan is this lovely Maximus Maximus, Maximus. You remember that gladiator film with R Russell Crowe? So it's got these nice romantic symbols on the um, on the collar around the uh, the mouth of the bowl here, and I think that just looks absolutely cute. It was actually on sale at Smoking Pipes, and they had a nine millimeter. Um, I think maybe Smoking Pipes Europe. Um, this is then the white dot. So we do have one here to show and beautiful sort of rustic but smooth rustic finish. I don't know if you quite call that a sandblast but it, it's um, a lovely finish. It's a gorgeous pipe and I, I love to smoke and everyone always asks me about this. Well, where do you get that one from? What is that one? Um, so th these were on sale not long ago. I don't know if they still are, but they're absolutely a steal buy. I must have got it about 40% off or something like that. All of these are 9mm, of course, as you know me already. Do I have a Stanwell in there? I do. 
my favorite filter at the moment. Pretty well drilled in the center, you know, sometimes that moves around. But for me, what counts is where is it in the bowl, and this is just grazing the base of the bowl uh, right in the middle there, so just perfect. And just a lovely pipe to smoke another great Vowen. And a more recent acquisition, also from Vowen, was designed by Mastro de Paia. Now, Mastro de Paia, of course, make their own pipes, and they have a few that look like this, but this is actually made by Vowen, um, and is an absolutely gorgeous pipe, a mar marvellous pipe. It says it actually on the base here. I don't know if we can try it. The next thing I'm going to get is a studio light. And it says Vowen at the top, and then Master, you see it there, Master de Paya. So, uh, nice metal collar here. I like these um, poker sit-ups pi uh, pipes, especially with a nice little bend like this, because they're just, you don't need a cradle to sit them in, and they ha handle very nicely in the hand. It's got a nice grain, beautiful grain, actually, gorgeous with a nice uh, staining over it. It's just absolutely marvelous. And that's a, a, a lovely pipe. And I think actually, I've only had one go at this with half a bowl. So this one I've got to catch up with, do a bit of smoking. I never like to neglect them. They'll, they'll get sour at me. So I try and get around to all my pipes um, and give them a good smoke and not ignore them so so those are the three um Fowans. um now here's one that's interesting because i do have some estate pipes and i bought several of them from mr steinman in basel who is one of the last independent uh, tobacconists and has a little store which is well worth looking into and has a nice interesting selection of Cornell and Deals and other American blends that you will not, not find in the Davidoff stores. And Davidoff owns about three or four of the other tobacconist locations in uh, Basel. And they, are, of course, are great uh, Davidoff in all things, uh, whether it's cigars or pipe tobacco, um, but it's, it's nice to have someone who is an independent. Um, and on eBay, you can find from uh, Herr Steinmann uh, his offering of new pipes as well as uh, these estate pipes. And this is a Radford's selection. And that's a make you don't really uh, see new anymore as far as I know. There's quite a few estate pipes out there. And he has some marvellous condition uh, pipes. I, I think I have three estate pipes from Mr. Steinman and all uh, lovely grains. I mean, look at this. It's just a, a lovely grain to it, I think, and nice staining on top. A beautiful pipe. And uh, many of them are, you know, really hardly not either hardly smoked or, or not that much you know they're almost in sort of near new ish condition you know they, they in most cases have been used a, a little bit but uh, he always checks them cleans them and and you, you really get uh, fantastic pipes from him so anyone who's passing through Basel or not far away do have a look in um, and uh, have a look on eBay at all the pipes. I will, of course, in, as in all cases here, leave a f some links below to help anyone who wants to have a look at them. Again, it's uh, a good old nine millimeter. So a lot of my estates are not that old because they have to be of the the, the period. This is probably a that's an ex uh, Doctor Pearl, isn't it, from Vowen? But um, 
some I think this I got in a pack of some other things so it wasn't marked but I'm pretty sure that's who made it with that blue cap there absolutely lovely pipe I don't know if we can actually yes there you are see drilled right bang down the middle lovely I've smoked this a couple of times sits beautifully in the hand so I, I like I've gotten, you see, this is a straight pipe, and I mentioned at the beginning I was sort of thinking I missed a bent pipe. Also a silver collar, did you see? Sterling silver mark there, 925. And, uh, you know, often my estate pipes I try and get for about 70, 80 francs. So um, really, for the quality you're looking at here with a silver collar and everything and the condition, uh, absolutely worth that money. I mean, you can get some just great deals um, on on quality pipes, uh, ones which you can't find anymore, a little bit rare, and like this Radford for uh, very reasonable prices. So I advise everyone to have a look. So moving on to the artisans. Um, I have two examples here of... Um, individual pipe makers work from Germany and of course everybody knows there's there's a good many and there really uh, are some great craftsmen out there. Uh, one of the most famous of course is Peter Lehmann. Peter Lehmann has been doing this for decades and uh, I wrote to him and said I want you to I, I commission a pipe. He had one made already like this, but I said I want it larger. I want it bigger. I wanted a 22 millimeter bowl here, and uh, you know I really want to be able to fill that pipe to a good depth. So it's uh, maybe a little bit over the average depth, but it's certainly wider. I almost get my thumb in it. Um, than most and it's a, a nice heavy pipe this is a chunk of briar that was used here and he does this lovely rustic finish here there's his signature the p for peter lehman and he's something of a legend i think in pipe making in germany and um very very lovely pipes and this is a this is one of the heaviest and one of the largest that i have but it's a beautiful pipe, nice collar here with the, the brass uh, inset to it and very attractive. And when I'm taking a big bowl of my uh, Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic and reassuring myself uh, that I can always come back to that uh, blend and love it, I sometimes take a pipe like this or this pipe indeed to enjoy that. Peter Lehman, absolutely a masterpiece. Which brings me to my last masterpiece. And one must say with the artisans, of course, that is the thing. They come up with very, uh, what they call unicata in German, or unique, unique pipes. Um, so this is from Roland Kirsch. And I have written back to him when I received it and said, I'm, I'm just bowled over by this pipe. I mean, look at that malachite-looking green uh, stem which is just a cracker and this lovely uh, collar here uh, which I think is either it might be steel or might be uh, silver uh, but beautifully engraved and absolutely gorgeous with then of course a briar um, stem connecting to the bowl and the bowl is made out of um, oak from, uh, so it's Bogmore Oak, that probably has lain there for several thousand years. And um, he's learned how to fashion these beautifully into a bowl. And um, it's, it's absolutely a gorgeous pipe. This is one of my crown jewels, for sure, in my collection. Because uh, every time I look at this, I took this... Uh, yesterday was again in the Three Kings in Basel, uh, having a dinner with some friends, um, and went to their lovely pipe lounge, which of course you sure saw the day before I was there with uh, Jean Panzer, and I smoked this one, and several pipe smokers 
came up to me and said, my goodness, where did you get that? Um, it's mostly cigar smokers in, in the lounge there, but there were one or two pipe smokers. And uh, Roland Kirsch is definitely an, an address. And um, you'll find in some of the pipe forums, some uh, images of his work have been uploaded, but do have a look. Of course, um, as with Peter Lehman, as with most of the individual workers, it's going to cost a little bit more. They take more time. They don't have um, the economy of scale that Avowan does. So one has to see it that way. Not that all of their pipes are that expensive, but they uh, once they're sort of special cases like these two you see here that will cost you a little bit more, but they're absolutely worth it. They're absolutely worth it. The you know easily um, beautiful pipe. I've smoked this maybe a dozen times now, and I just enjoy it so much. And again, it's a straight. Um, so I've got a got a bit, little bit out of my bent uh, preference there, and it does sit up very nicely, particularly when it's loaded. Um, and a beautiful pipe. So I just wanted to do uh, that shorter video on my German pipes and um, as well as to show you my little intro introduction uh, piece on my, uh, on my videos and I hope you like them, I hope you enjoyed this and indeed information below if any of these um, are of particular interest or you'd like to buy something similar. Well, take care. Thanks very much for looking in. And um, one last comment I'd like to make. My deepest thanks to all of you who have subscribed to me because I'm at 122 at my last look. And I, I went through at the 100 mark without even realizing I'd done it. So by 200, I will certainly make a, a, a giveaway. And um, I do appreciate those who, who are interested in what I have to bring and uh, my deepest appreciation to all of my subscribers. Thanks very much. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.